In February, local crime fighters launched Operation Consequences, targeting drug traffickers and lawbreakers possessing firearms illegally. The latest series of raids led to 23 more felony arrests made in sweeps in Victorville, Hesperia, and Chino, July 15th through the 21st. Targeted locations in Victorville were the 14,500 block of Alivada Drive, 13,600 block of Alcona Drive, 13,100 block of Sampras Lane, 15,200 block of Dakota Street, 15,300 block of Nisqual Road and 16,700 block of 5th Street and 16,300 block of Fir Avenue in Hesperia. In addition to the 23 felony arrests, three firearms and nearly seven pounds of illegal narcotics were confiscated. The operation's number of felony arrests made since February now totals 261. Operation Consequences conducts crime suppression operations throughout the high desert and in the sheriff's jurisdiction surrounding the city of San Bernardino. Operations include parole and probation checks. There are currently 6,568 parolees at large in California. 534 of those parolees are at large in San Bernardino County. The San Bernardino County Department of Behavioral Health has launched a county-wide campaign to raise awareness about the unprecedented rise in overdoses and poisonings caused by fentanyl. Fentanyl is a synthetic opioid that is up to 50 times stronger than heroin and 100 times stronger than morphine. It is tasteless, odorless, and too small to see. An amount about the size of two grains of sand can cause an overdose. Brightly colored fentanyl, referred to as rainbow fentanyl, can be found in many forms, including pills, powder, and blocks that can resemble sidewalk chalk or candy. Of great concern is how fentanyl is being marketed to appeal to unsuspecting children. This campaign aims to educate the public on the serious dangers of fentanyl, bring awareness to the prevalence in our communities, and most importantly, equip people with the life-saving resources available. Fentanyl doesn't care that you are a parent, a student, or someone experimenting with drugs for the first time. Fentanyl takes lives indiscriminately with no remorse. In the past two years, there have been over 450 fentanyl overdose deaths in San Bernardino County. Recognizing the signs of opioid overdose can save a life. If you suspect a family member or friend might have a problem with substance use, speak to them about getting help. Treatment can be arranged in different modalities to fit almost any schedule. Counselors will work with you and your family member or friend to design a treatment plan that works for you. When you are ready, you or your family member or friend can call 800-968-2636 to reach the county's Substance Use Disorder Helpline 24 hours a day for a free and confidential screening. Our Victor Valley TV Sports Watch, Victor Valley College Lady Rams from the 2023 season earning scholarships to play at the next level include Jordan Brooks, Division I, Cal State Bakersfield. Manaya Willingham and Tyresha Sessions are bound for Division II Humboldt State. This high-scoring trio led Coach Troy Hall's Lady Rams to the conference championship in 2022, the program's first conference title in 25 years. The 2023 Lady Rams had a record of 20 wins and 9 losses, 12 and 2, in conference play. Jordan Brooks became the first Lady Ram earning first team All-State honors two years. The 6-3 center set school records in blocked shots, rebounds, and scoring. Former Serrano Lady Diamondback Sydney Lockhart will play next at Southern California Leadership University, a relatively new Division II Christian University in Westminster. Former Victor Valley High School Lady Jackrabbit Jasmine Phillips has received a full scholarship to play at Florida Memorial University in Miami Gardens, Florida. For Victor Valley TV News Local Edition, Terry Kurtz.